start that screen recording on your prospects LinkedIn profile okay. where you can actually talk about their profile or something that you've caught you know that's caught your attention you know hey Mark I see that you do this at digital 22 I thought you'd be interested to know that Vidyard can help mm. you achieve your goals this year really? so you're personalizing it Mark's gonna see my thumbnail of his LinkedIn profile it's gonna catch his attention wow. And he's more likely to, to press that play yeah. button. Anyone would open that. If I seen our website, our LinkedIn page mm -hmm. there, I'd open that. Yeah, exactly. That. Well, hi, everyone. Welcome to Inbound After Hours. We have Maria on the show today. Maria has just arrived on Monday. She's come all the way from Toronto in Canada. She's come here to train our team. And thank you so much. Oh, you're, you're welcome. You're doing an amazing <laughs> job. I know you've had a big job to do. You've uh, you've had another twenty odd people in there this morning <laughs> training, and you've had jet lag. You've been out every night. Yep. And I can't thank you enough. Uh, <laughs> you're leaving later on today, two o'clock, and you go into the Manchester United football ground before That's you go. That's right. Hopefully, there's some Man United. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Supporters on the phone. <laughs> yeah, Alex. Alex is going to be taking. Yes. You. Uh, so that that should be good. Well, again, thank you for being here. I've got some questions for you today. Hopefully you can help us out. I would love to. Okay, so tell us a bit about you, Maria, how you ended up at Vidyard and explain who Vidyard is. Yeah, for sure. So uh, Vidyard is a video hosting and analytics company. Um, how I ended up there, I actually used to be a high school teacher. Okay. So I've got a training background. So I ended up at Vidyard because an opportunity presented itself for a training team. Uh, so I lead our training department now. Um, so we typically work with all of our brand new clients to do implementation uh, in their first kind of experience with Vidyard. Okay, yeah. great. So from a primary teacher, did you say? Primary school teacher? High school. High school teacher. Yes. And then what give you the transition into the world of marketing and video? What? Yeah, it, I kind of stumbled upon it. Um, high school students are you know, a breed of their own. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I know you've got someone that's about to be a teenager in your household, <laughs> yeah, so you'll yeah. experience that soon. I can relate to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I wanted a new challenge. And uh, in, in Kitchener-Waterloo, where I live, the tech industry is really booming right now. And it has been over the last few years. So, um, you know, it's been, it's hard to, to avoid a tech company in, in town. So it just presented itself as a great opportunity, a new challenge, a whole new skill set. So mm. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the first training sessions you did back on Wednesday was with our sales team, mm -hmm. the Go Video Training. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to our viewers um, how important video is in within the sales process? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, I mean, even if you take out Vidyard from the equation, um, these days, obviously, it's impossible on a global scale to visit all of our prospects and customers and have face-to-face -face conversations. Okay. Um, so we know that we're using tools like Zoom or GoToMeeting mm. to have meetings as okay. often as we can, you know, moving away from text, moving away from phone calls mm. as much as possible. Uh, but with GoVideo, the tool that we have, you're now able to send and record your own personalized okay. messages that you can send really easily via email. Okay. Uh, we track people's view rates as well, so you know when somebody's interacted with it. Um, so it really just helps uh, humanize the sales process mm. again and kind of put a face to the name and help build those trusting relationships a lot quicker. Yeah, so it's, it's the psychology behind that. It's that human-to-human -human connection. Mm -hmm. And I think you mentioned uh, by the time a prospect, a prospect comes through our door, they've probably met us 16 or 17 times through actually meeting us on video yes. or sending a proposal over, recording videos on there. Absolutely. Um, let's talk, talk more about the platform. I know you've mentioned there's some really cool widgets in there. One is the, uh, the animated GIF. Would you mm -hmm. like to talk us through that? That's really powerful. Yeah, absolutely. So we know, you know videos have thumbnail images on them. So what's the next best thing? Let's have a, a moving thumbnail. So yes. the animated GIF we've found um, has really increased click-through rates. It just tends to draw a little bit more attention. It's kind of mm. a little bit more visually appealing. So when you come to a web page or even open up an email from somebody yeah. and you see this moving thumbnail, maybe it's somebody waving at you or pointing to something or um, just a cool animation, it, it tends to draw the eye to it a little bit more and you get a little bit more interaction from, from your audience. Yeah, I agree. I mean, one tip you give Caroline, our sales lady, is to actually write the uh, the prospects or the customer's name on a whiteboard. That's right. Uh, then it's more personalized. They're more intrigued to open that video. You got it. Yeah, yeah. when you've got, um, 
your prospect's name on that whiteboard, it really shows that you've taken the time to record a video just for that person. Mm. It's not a mass email that's going out to a hundred people. Mm. Um, it's very tailored. So, I mean, if you opened up an email and saw somebody holding up your name on a sign, yes. you're probably more tempted to hit that play button to click that, than yeah. otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm pinching all your ideas here from the training earlier. Yeah. And another good thing you tell us is using playlists. Yes. Uh, would you like to talk about how uh, the advantages of using playlists in mm -hmm. the, the sales process? Absolutely. So, I mean, one of the things that some sales reps will find daunting is the idea of you know, sitting in front of their webcam and recording mm. videos of themselves. Maybe they don't know what to say. Maybe they're not comfortable on camera. Mm. So having the option to use a playlist um, will let you actually leverage existing video content. So you might choose to do a personalized 10 second introductory video, you know, introduce yourself, let them know why you're reaching out and tell them, you know, keep watching. I've got a quick demo video to show you what Vidyard or what Digital 22 is all about. And it kind of just fades into this uh, awesome video that your marketing team has you know, put together that you don't have to recreate for yourself. That's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, when we, we've done that since you've been here. So Caroline says, hi, Mrs. Prospect. And then this just goes straight through to uh, an About Us video with mm -hmm. our team waving and introducing exactly. itself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then let's talk at the end of that process. What about the, uh, the CTAs, mm -hmm. the call to actions at the end? Is there any best practices for call to actions? Yeah, the best practice, and we, we like to use the hashtag never fade to black. <laughs> so when a video comes to an end, it shouldn't leave your prospect wondering what's the next yeah. step or what should I do now? So we have a really great opportunity to include a call to action that automatically appears at the end of that video. And what we're seeing really commonly with sales reps mm. is um, allowing your prospects to book a meeting with you right from that video. Okay. So you can link this to your HubSpot calendar, to your Calendly or Drift calendar, whatever you're using. Mm. And it's just a nice um, designed button that takes people into your calendar so that they can book that meeting with you. That's really cool. I mean, we, we use HubSpot, the viewers know that, mm -hmm. but there's, there's bound to be some um, internal marketeers here who use different platforms. Exactly. Can Vidyard integrate with other platforms? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, we've got a long list of, okay. of uh, platforms we can integrate into. And it's not even necessarily an integration, often it's just a redirect. So okay. you can just take them onto a page that allows people to, to interact with okay. your calendar or maybe a demo or any landing page really that you wanna highlight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any more best practices? I'm trying to give the viewers as much valuable as possible. Any any best practices for uh, for using video in sales? Yeah, lots of best practices. Um, I'm thinking if this is your your first time, maybe sitting down, you're ready to start using the tool. Mm -hmm. I'll first uh, start by saying we do have a free version of Go Video, okay. so anybody can go to the Chrome Web Store, look up Go Video, and get started for free. Okay. Um, so uh, some best practices to keep in mind is. Uh, your lighting has to be mm. good. We've seen some pretty funny examples <laughs> of very dark, shadowy looking figures and it's not the most inviting uh, looking image. So make sure you're well lit. Keep it short and sweet. Mm. As adults, we know we have very short attention spans. Yeah. It's, it's tough to sit through long videos. Um, so the quicker you can deliver your message, the okay. better. Um, and then personalize it, you know, personalize it the, the, as much as you can. If it's that whiteboard, if you're doing a screen recording, which is another option, okay. we always recommend start that screen recording on your prospects LinkedIn profile, okay. where you can actually talk about their profile or something that you've caught, you know, that's caught your attention, you know, Hey Mark, I see that you do this at Digital 22. I thought you'd be interested to know that Vidyard can help mm. you achieve your goals this year. Really? So you're personalizing it. Mark's gonna see my thumbnail of his LinkedIn profile. It's gonna catch his attention. Wow. And he, he's more likely to, to press that yeah. play button. Anyone would open that. If I seen our website, our LinkedIn page mm -hmm. there, I'd open that absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so mm -hmm. let's talk a bit more about lighting. We've got people uh, watching and listening who haven't got big budgets for, mm -hmm. for lighting systems like we've got here. Is any any best tactics for, for lighting? Any yeah. Cheap alternatives? Oh yeah, the cheapest is uh, if you've got a window nearby, which hopefully everybody okay. does. Um, get by that window. The natural lighting is going to be the, the best, most flattering lighting. Okay. Um, and most importantly is sit so that your 
facing the window. So don't put the window behind your head because that's where you're going to get those shadows. Right. So face that window. Um, you'll get nice natural lighting. It'll light up your, your face and your screen and yeah, comes across nicer that way. And off you go. And regarding cameras, I'm guessing a lot of people have got the um, the, the built-in camera mm -hmm. on the laptops. Yep. What about audio? Audio is super important. Um, is there any tips we, we can use, any cheap alternatives yeah. for audio? Yeah, honestly, I use my earbuds okay. that came with my cell phone. They have a um, built-in microphone, oh, which is great. So they're not huge on your head. You don't have the big, uh, you know, yeah. earphones. Um, but the, the earbuds have the built-in microphone, so it does help eliminate background noise mm -hmm. so you don't pick up a lot of you know, people chatting in the background. Um, otherwise, I'm sure you can get some cheap mics yeah. on Amazon okay. if you really wanted to. Okay. Yeah. What about, I'm out and about, I'm on a train or I'm at a meeting, I haven't got my laptop with me. Is mm -hmm. it, have you got any facilities to do this on your mobile phone? We do. Yeah, we do. We actually just released a um, Go Video app okay. for iOS. So it's currently only available for Apple users, um, but we are looking to move that into the Android mm -hmm. world as well. Okay. So for anybody on an Apple, you can just head into the Apple store and look for Go Video and, and download that to get started. And just go, yeah. go with that. That's mm -hmm. cool. Uh, one thing you mentioned yesterday as well, I'm just thinking back from our training, is watermarks as well. I thought that we're going to start using that so we could have our logo top left hand corner of all mm -hmm. videos. We can set a watermark. Mm -hmm. I found that quite interesting as well. Yeah, yeah it adds so, a little bit of extra branding yeah. to your video, yeah. kind of stamps it and okay. keeps your, your brand presence. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the reporting facilities is so easy to use as well when you look at the, uh, the people who watched your videos and the drop off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really nice with GoVideo, you actually get that automatic email notification. Okay. So as soon as you've watched my video, I'll get a notification that tells me Mark watched 72% or 100%. Um, funny story, actually, I sent a quick response to one of my customers that's still in their launch program. <laughs> he asked me a question, I answered with a video, and he wrote back and said, oh, but how do I do this and this? And I said, well, I see from my notification that you only watched 15% of ah. my video. <laughs> If you watch all the way through, you'll get your answer. Get your answer. So he went yeah. back and watched it. He did. How clever is that? Yeah. yeah. He knew I busted him. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's good. That's really cool. Especially for our sales team. How, how powerful is that? And we can mm -hmm. set up different triggers within HubSpot with the integration mm -hmm. as well. And uh, back back to the, the playlists, we could just send a series of videos. Mm -hmm. or We could automate them as well. Exactly. Personalized automation. Yeah. yeah. You got it. World's, world's endless. Save okay. some time. Yeah. And you know what? Recording video really is more time saving mm. than time consuming. Um, if you think about how long it might take you to research something, type it up into yeah. a concise paragraph, maybe you're including links to something or screenshots of something. Mm. All of that is very time consuming. Whereas a video, mm. you can deliver your message in 15, 20 seconds. It comes from a human, you're, it's yeah. more conversational, easier to digest. Um, so it really does, it, it does, becomes yeah. a little bit more automated. Yeah, so it's it's cost effective, mm -hmm. Vidyard's free mm -hmm. on the start package. Mm -hmm. uh, most people have got cell phones, mobile phones, so that's free. Mm -hmm. um, it's quicker, it's quicker than writing emails and texts. Yeah. So it ticks every box. Why yeah. are people still not adopting video? Yeah. Why is that? I think there's a fear, there's just a general fear of, of getting in front of the camera. Mm. And, and that is so natural, it's very natural, but I like to compare it to leaving a voicemail. We've all left voicemails before. You kind of get to your point really quickly, mm. introduce yourself, let them know why you're reaching out. Uh, the only difference is now you get to put a face behind it and mm. you're really just increasing that that trust in the recipient or you know they're trusting you more knowing that you are a real person and yeah. and not just uh, you know somebody trying to sell them something yeah. and <laughs> sending yeah. the same message to everyone. It's the mindset. I know when we were, we were training our strategies yesterday, these guys are on Zoom videos every day. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you said, right, I want you to record 60 seconds, it took them 20 edits exactly. to try and get this right, yeah. to, to ease into it. And yes. still, it's exactly the same as shooting a, mm -hmm. a Zoom video. It's exactly the same. We've all been on web conferences yeah. before. Hey, you know what? We've had face-to-face -face conversations yeah, yeah. before. What's the difference? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's just changing the mindset. Yeah, and people need to remember that although it is a video and when we think video, we think Hollywood, we think it has to be perfect, mm -hmm. it really doesn't. And it's actually almost better if you do stumble on a word or you use a little bit of the ums and the ahs mm. because it's natural, it's human, it's more relatable. And if you sit there and sound like a robot, then mm. you know it's hard to kind of build that relationship that way. 
Yeah, God, I mean, uh, talking about that as well, uh, you'd like to explain about the uh, the transcripting as well. That's that's super powerful for SEO. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to uh, go to a third party and submit uh, transcripts, pay that money, and then mm -hmm. upload it the S SRT file. SRT, yeah. A lot of messing about. So mm -hmm. now Vidyard has got this built in, is that correct? We do. So it's not currently going to be automatic for the Go Video side. Okay. After your Go Video is created, you yes. could go in and add a caption file. Okay. Um, but when you're creating those playlists using your marketing content, those will have the, the yeah. automatic transcriptions on them. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay. Just before we finish then, I'd like to touch on other forms of video, mm -hmm. not just in the sales process. Mm -hmm. Where else can we use video in our businesses or in our marketing? Any yeah. other ideas? Yeah, actually we're seeing uh, more of a trend in support teams, tech support teams using video. Okay. Uh, so often, you know, instead of constantly answering support tickets with long emails or having to schedule calls to resolve issues, our support team is leveraging pre-created videos. So if we know there's frequently asked questions, okay. certain parts of the platform that people might, um, or, you know, that have created a lot of tickets in the past, instead of repetitively answering mm. these questions one by one by one, <laughs> let's create a quick how-to video. So okay. now it's super easy for anyone on the support team to leverage that video, share it with the, right. the customer, and they've right. got their answer already created. Oh, good. And if they want to personalize that, they could say, um, hi, I'm going to pass mm -hmm. you a video of our colleague explaining why. Okay, that's clever. Exactly, yeah. And yeah. then even teams like my own on the training mm -hmm. side, I, I gave you an example already, but we obviously get a lot of questions. It's a brand new customer. They're brand new to Vidyard. They're naturally going to have a lot of questions. Um, so I've created a video hub with kind of quick little mm. bite-sized pieces, one to two minutes long that explain each of our features. So again, it's so easy for me to just send this little snippet. If it still doesn't answer their question, they can come back. But more often than not, it's saving us a lot of time and resources to have the videos pre-created for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any chance you could send us a link and we could put that in the show notes absolutely. for the viewers? Yeah, I think absolutely. that'd be really helpful. Yeah. Uh, showing an example, that'd mm -hmm. be good. And anything else you've got of value, please send over and we'll put in the show notes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm going to ask one more question. If you've got any left, that is. <laughs> uh, any, any key takeaways for the listeners? Anything else you could uh, provide as a value? Key takeaways. Um, yeah, I would say often when people think of video, they're seeing dollar signs in front of their eyes. Okay. We know video can be highly produced, which is very expensive. You guys have a lot of great equipment in this room, mm. um, but it doesn't have to be. Anybody can make a video. Everybody's got a cell phone. Anybody can get Go Video for free. Get scrappy, get creative, you know, use those creative juices that we often don't get to use in our day-to-day our -day job. Um, and just put yourself out there, give it a shot and, and see what happens. We've got some great numbers already from our customers. Um, are you familiar with SalesLoft? No, no. No? So it's a, an automation tool that okay. sales teams will often use. Right. So it just allows them to um, send emails to their prospects okay. in, in a series of sequences. Um, so they actually just released a report and they uh, looked at 134 million emails that were sent last year by sales reps. And of those emails that included video, mm. there was an increase of 25% in response rates. Wow. And that's a big number, 25% increase yeah. when video was included versus not. Yeah, we use a similar function in HubSpot, HubSpot sales. Yes, so very exactly. Similar. Yeah, very okay. similar to that. Yeah, so that's uh, one for our to-do list and mm -hmm. start using video in the sales process. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed that. Loads of value there. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.